My name is Finley, and I love to fight. Well, John Cena and Shawn Michaels showed us Friday night on SmackDown that they can work together as a team. Will they be able to tonight? The following tag team contest is scheduled for one ball, making their way to the ring. Little Bastard and Finley. Little Bastard is scared to death, John. He's not a little bastard. He's a leprechaun, okay? He's got parents. His parents are not Mr. and Mrs. Bastard. Therefore, you cannot call him li Little Bastard. He is a, he's afraid of little people, okay? He's got a fear. Listen to yourself. You're the one that wondered if there was a whirlpool under the ring back in Houston, okay? I don't know what's on that ring. You got a whole damn colony of Lilliputians, for all I know. <laughs> I wonder if they have a litter box under that ring for him. that eats worms. Now we've got his son or something else out here with him. Both looks like they're epileptic, eating worms as well. They, explain this to me. Explain this to me. Well, I, I, I think that little... is the ring that I was in at WrestleMania 21 when I lost the world championship to John Cena, and it is now filled with a freaking sideshow carnival freaks. Freaks, not one. Three! Can I, can I correct you about something? What? I think Little Boogeyman actually eats itchworms. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. You are just you're making me laugh today. So this is supposed to be a tag team matchup. It's supposed to be Boogeyman and Little Boogeyman against Finley and Little Bastard. But Little Bastard is... Uh, Not a Little Bastard. Why don't you call that little freak over there, the Little Boogeyman, a Little Bastard? What do you got against an Irishman that likes to drink beer, no matter what his size, and loves to fight? John, that's you got it. something? You know what you are? What? You're anti-immigration. Me? You're xenophobic. Me? You're making fun of the Irish for no reason because you don't understand them. You mock what you don't understand. What the hell's wrong with you, little bastard? He's a human being. Well, Finley doesn't quite know what to do here as he starts off this matchup against Boogeyman. Well, he doesn't know what to do. He's sitting there looking at a freak. And right next to him is a freak just like him, but smaller. You're like a one and a half freaks against one Irishman. Would you know what to do? No, not at all. I don't even know how, you know, to call the matchup once little Boogeyman gets involved. And Boogeyman, nice fireman's carry takedown to Finley. Finley handed Boogeyman his first loss a couple of weeks ago. Off the distraction by a little bastard. Payback on SmackDown. By the way. Little Boogeyman showed up. Little Boogeyman. So that's your name for it. Yeah, little Boogeyman. He's got to have a name. Why don't you go find it? Come on, you're a wartime correspondent. You're like a, 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 a non-heterosexual Barry Horowitz. Go out there and find out. Finley tossed back into the ring. Boogeyman ducked out of the way. And Boogeyman! Why don't you do your due diligence? Why don't you do some homework? Why don't you go over there and interview him and find out his name? John, that's his name, Little Boogeyman. Just like the leprechaun's name is Little Bastard. And what a kick to the jaw. So when he gets on a plane, they say, Boogeyman, you have got you received your upgrade. No, no, not the Boogeyman, but Little Boogeyman. I have no idea. I don't even know if these guys go to the airport and fly on planes. Finley whipped across the ring. Boogeyman, oh, nice scoop slam to Finley. And Boogeyman dominating Finley in the early going. Perhaps Finley's been thrown a bit by the fact that Little Boogeyman is at ringside. What the hell is this? It's little Boogeyman! Look at him go. Look at Little Boogeyman go. And again to Finley. He's strutting his stuff. 
Is that what you call it? Yeah. Well, there's no Schmidt. He is disgusting. The hey! Little bastard. Come on! Come on! What in the hell are we Come watching? Hey! Little man has got a, a mouthful of words, and here's little bastard. This is Gulliver's Travels meets Disney on acid. I think little bastards had enough. The crowd loves it. We gonna have us one hell of a little fight. If yes, sir. Kick right to the. That's fight what he the should face. do. What do you mean? That's what he should do. That's what he should do. Little bastard, that little boogie man. That is a great moment in the WWE. Worms flying everywhere. Little bastard, that uh, I love it. Little boogie man distracted. Finley took advantage, and now little bastard went back under the ring. Add Taz to this, we can have a three-way step by the match. Little boogie man, a small package and a kick out by Finley. That was a small package, all right. Oh, you called that well. Oh, and what a clothesline by Finley, literally fighting from his knees. I've seen it all. I thought I'd seen it all. I've now seen it all. In memory of King Kong Bundy. Oh, right, there's some the payback. Little, the little boogeyman. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. Keep jumping up and down his belly till he spits out worms. Finley putting a bad mouth on little boogeyman, as Finley loves to do. And suddenly the fighting Irishman wear out little boogie. Look at this. Little arm bar. <laughs> it's a little short arm scissor is what it is. <laughs> How do you get one on a guy that small? Yeah, this is fun. Let's say, hey, let's 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 a whole bunch of them and have like a toss. You know, put like a little harness on a whole bunch of these little people and have a toss. That's really and throw them as far yeah. as you can. That's really politically correct. <laughs> this little boogeyman is tossed out of the ring. And little bastard, little bastard, grabbing little boogeyman and pulling him under the ring. What the hell just happened? Philly's trying to figure it out too. Hey! It's big, it's a big boogie man! It's big boogie! You said big boogie. Yes, big boogie man. A boogie senior. That's good too. As boogie man has bounced off the steel, that steel barricade, tossed back into the ring by Finley. Finley's dug it through and around. Is there like a little hot of coal out there? I hope not. I wanted to decide he would be upset. Finley! Boogie Man! Shoulder to the ribs! Did you see how Boogie Man exploded? Hey, there's no denying Boogie Man's athletic ability, John. None at all. None at all. I have seen Finley when he was undefeated champion of Europe for five straight years back in the 90s, but I have never seen Finley in a Finley mess like this. Locks off the top turnbuckle by Boogie Man. And Finley's in trouble, putting it in, taking it to the fighting Irishman, the former United States champion. Very unorthodox style for Boogeyman, to say the least. Boy, that's bright. He had Finley by the throat, fouls it up with a close You expect line. anything on him to be orthodox? What is the hell is this? Little Boogeyman up on the second rope. Boogeyman launching little Boogeyman into Finley. And look at this. Little pass it's a little safe with the shillelagh in hand. And look, oh look, little bastard in trouble. Wait a minute. Book it in. Book it That's in. not fair. You don't pick on a little guy like that. That's not fair. Well, little bastard. You don't do that to a leprechaun. He's scared to death. The of, the of course he's scared to death. Wouldn't you be scared of Boogeyman? And you're a full-grown half man. What is he doing? Little bastard is taking off. He needs to leave him alone. And Finley in the ring, Shillelagh to the skull. The referee never saw it. Here's the cover. Finley has defeated Little Boogeyman. Finley owns two victories over the Boogeyman. Here are your winners, Little Bastard and Finley. The indignant Finley. Not only did Finley was the first one ever to defeat the Boogeyman, he's also the first one ever to defeat the Little Boogeyman. How about all hell the Fighting Irish? That right there is a man, Finley. Finley with a shillelagh to the skull. You gotta like that.
all the mind games, all the worms, all the chicanery going on the ringside, and the guy that stays tall is the fighting Irishman, Finley. A little bastard is scared to death of those worms. Wouldn't you be? He's scared to death of Boogeyman. I don't think it's the worms. He's scared to death of that freak. And watch the indignant Finley with a salary to the skull. <laughs> that was fun to watch, Michael. His name is Finley, and he loves to fight.